Hello everyone, welcome to TeachTech. This is the fourth video of Windows Server 2022 administration course. In this video, I'm going to talk about PowerShell commandlets for Windows Server. In this video, we will explore how PowerShell can simplify your server management task, making your workflow more efficient and effective. PowerShell is a powerful scripting language and command line shell designed specifically for system administration. It provides an extensive range of commandlets, which are simple, single function commands, making it easier to automate and manage the Windows environment. PowerShell commands are a combination of verbs and nouns, such as get-service or start-process, where start is the verb and process is the noun. Commands are not case sensitive so you can type them in any case you prefer. Let's start by opening PowerShell. You can do this by searching PowerShell on Start menu and open it. Once PowerShell is open, you can begin using commandlets to manage your Windows Server. We will start with some basic commandlets. First, let's look at some basic commandlets that can help you get familiar with PowerShell. To get a list of all commandlets available in your PowerShell session, use get-command. In other way, you can also add pipe space more. So these are all the commands available on PowerShell. The pipe more part allows you to view the list page one at a time. You can press enter to see one command at a time or space bar to see one page at a time. To get help on a specific command list such as get desk and disk, use get dash help command list. I will clear the screen. Get dash help space get that disk by default the help page is not available on your local machine once you give the command get dash help it will start downloading the help page This is the help page for get desk disk. This is the description. Now let's go to managing service. PowerShell makes it easy to manage services on your Windows server. Let's start by listing all the services running on the server. Use the get dash service command lead to list all the service. To get information about a specific service such as the remote registry service, use get service display name service name. This service is stopped its name is remote registry display name is also remote registry you can start and stop services using the start dash service and stop dash service command lead. check the service status it's running now let's check the status again the service is stopped Managing processes. Next, let's look at how PowerShell can help you to manage processes. To get a list of all running processes, use the get dash process command lists. These are the processes. To get detailed information about a specific process, such as Notepad, use get dash 
process minus name notepad cannot find a process maybe this process is not running for now if you need to stop a process you can simply use stop dash process managing files and folders PowerShell also provides commandlets for managing files and folders. Let's create a new directory using the new item commandlet. To create a new folder called test folder, use new item minus path, give the drive letter, give the folder name test folder and provide item type as directory the drive letter is incorrect okay the folder has been created to create a new file inside test folder use the same command but you need to add the file name give the command new minus item path give the location test folder Give the name, file name, and item type as file. The file has been created successfully. You can also move, copy, and delete files using copy dash item, move dash item, remove dash item commandlets. To copy the file, provide the command copy dash item, provide path. test folder slash file name is file.txt and provide the destination test folder and provide the new file name the file has been copied to move the item simply replace the copy dash item with a move dash item command here and provide the destination path right here to remove an item provide the command remove dash item the file is removed Using aliases, PowerShell supports popular DOS commands such as ping because of aliases. For example, you can ping Google DNS server using ping command ping 8.8.8.8. To see all available aliases, use the get aliases commandlet. These are the popular commands which are supported by DOS as well. You can also set your own aliases using the set dash alias command. For example, to create an alias for the get dash process commandlet called GP, let's use the command set dash alias, provide the alias name GP and provide the value or the commandlet for which you want to set the alias get dash process or uh, maybe gp name is already taken let's check over here yeah gp name is already taken let's give uh, a new name g minus p okay let's check if our alias is working or not it's working advanced commandlets now let's look at some advanced commandlets that can help you with more complex tasks for example you can use the get dash event log commandlet to retrieve event logs from the event viewer give the command get dash event log 
and log name system. All the logs from system is displayed over here. To filter events, you can use parameters like dash newest to get the latest event. Provide the command get dash event log space minus log name space system space minus newest space 10. Here is the 10 latest log from system. PowerShell scripts. You can also combine multiple commands into a PowerShell script file with the extension .ps1 and run it as a script. This allows you to automate complex tasks and save time. Here is an example script that retrieves services and disk information. Let's go to Notepad and provide these commands get dash service and get dash disk. Now uh, let's save it. On the documents with the extension test script dot ps1. Save. This is the script file run PowerShell from here. Now uh, let's run this script dot slash test script dot ps1. You can see the output of two commands get dash service and get dash disk. wrapping up. PowerShell is a powerful tool that can significantly enhance your ability to manage Windows Server. The commandlets we have covered are just the beginning. As you become more familiar with PowerShell, you will discover even more ways to streamline your task and automate your workflow. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more tutorials. And don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos.